United with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. God bless and welcome to our United with Christ vi visitors and friends. I thank God for this opportunity. I'm Pastor Lori of In His Presence Worship Ministries. I praise God for you today. Today I'm here with my husband, Pastor Thaddeus Bowden. Hey, I'm here you? with our minister, Minister Michelle Bowden, and my dear friend, Minister UJ Nimi. Amen. You. We thank God for you today. Today we're coming with a topic. Our topic today is God gives us peace in the midst of the storm. And before we go any further, I would like to pray. Father, we just thank you today, God. God, we thank you today for insight, God. Give us direction for your people, God. Mm -hmm. Father, today we want a right now word yes. for this nation. Holy Spirit, come in, God. God, you know today, God, is a divine appointment from you, Father. Mm -hmm. God, speak to your servants. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm excited today for being here today. And listen, before we go any further, I will like to tell you, if you need prayer, if there's anything in your life through this program today, I ask you to call 915-532-8518. Today I want to start with Pastor Thaddeus. Pastor Thaddeus has the pleasure of being my husband. Oh. Amen. And I just thank God for <laughs> oh, him. But God. I want to ask you, God gives us peace in a time of storm. How? How do I go through these storms um, that life is bringing us now? We're in an hour now that there's so many storms in this world. We have all the wars and rumors of wars. We have all the tornado threats, hurricane threats that's in this world. We have a spirit of infirmity that is floodgating this nation. But how do I go through this, Pastor, and be saved? Well, first of all, you have to have a relationship with God. If you don't have a relationship with God, you will tend to rely on all those other things that will try to get you through storms. And if God bless you and you hold on to his faith, God will get you through those storms. But for those that are not saved, they rely on their intellect, their own reasoning, and, and things that will try to prepare them for a storm or get them through a storm, but not knowing that God is in control of it. So if you're not in touch with God or if you don't have a relationship with God, then you'll end up being lost through this storm. I remember being young in my life and um, young and getting high and using drugs and in my tornado storms, I didn't know Christ, mm -hmm. but I learned what kept me was the prayers of the righteous. Amen. I know that through the storms and all of the mistakes that I made in my life, I thank God for people like my grandmother or the ministers that stayed on the wall mm -hmm. and they prayed me through. Do I believe that God speaks to the unsaved? Um, Absolutely, because time. that's how he got me. That's how he got me. I think now we're um, in this hour where the spirit of death is just walking the earth. Mm -hmm. Satan is seeping whom he may devour. But in this saved life, I know that one thing that can overcome all of that, and that is the blood of Jesus, the yes. power of God. Yes. Sister Michelle, I would like for you to tell me, in this hour, you've had threats of storms and threats in your life. What made you come through? How did you get through your storm? With a relationship, with my relationship with God. Um, during, during the time of storm, we kind of, like Pastor Thaddeus had mentioned, we kind of lean towards our own understanding or outside stimuluses to help us get through those things. Mm -hmm. But throughout my time and through the time of my storm, God has blessed me tremendously, and I bless God for it. Um, in January, um, I went to the doctors and they let me know that um, I had a brain tumor the size of an orange. Um, during that time, um, confusion, um, death, all those things began to overtake me, but I had to remember the foundation that I had built mm -hmm. with Christ. I had to remember 
who was going to bring me through all this, the promises of God, yes. the things that God had promised me, I had to hold on to, to that. Um, during that time, um, I was blinded in one of my eyes. I couldn't see. I had no idea why I was going through what I was going through. And um, through the prayers of the righteous, it developed much. Oh, yes. God blessed me um, through um, consecration, through fasting, through prayer. God blessed me. I, I, I cannot thank him enough for what he's done for me in my life. Amen. 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 Sister UJ, we're in a now the nation mm -hmm. is going through a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Many storms and not just the storms of the winds and the waves, mm -hmm. but the storms in the life of people. Mm -hmm. How do you tell them mm -hmm. that Jesus is the answer? First of all, um, I just want our viewers to know that God is not the, he is not the one that brings storms, but he allows them sometimes. You know, he, you know, he created all things. Yes. He created Satan himself, he created all the demons and everything that we all see, you know, manifest in different areas. But sometimes he allows them the storms of life yeah. to bring us back into order. Yeah. Sometimes he, because he keeps, just like we are all parents here, you know, you, sometimes you're talking to your children, do that. I like, I spank my children sometimes. Yeah, yeah to them that spanking might be like a storm. You know, so sometimes God allows the storm to bring back sanity, you know. And sometimes we ourselves allow the storms to come in, you know. So I, I'm reminded of the fact that evil is always lurking around the corner. There is always something, you know, somewhere around that if you just open the door, it comes in. Yeah. So the only way we can overcome the storm is... You, you already said it, just be in Christ. If you're not a believer, you know, that's a different story. But for believers, we are already in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he is our buckler, he's our refuge, he's our sanctuary, he's our everything. You know, in him, we are protected from everything that is going around the world right now. I know many believers, um, uh, you know, it's written, the hearts of men will fail them. You know, mm -hmm. and we all know we are in the end times, you know, things oh, yes. are happening. So right now, people's hearts are failing them. But if mm -hmm. you are in Christ, you are rest assured. Yeah. No, no matter what it is that is going on, even if there's an earthquake here in this El Paso right now, we are not troubled yeah. because we know whose we are, yes. you know. So it will come and it will pass. So and I, I believe this is time for believers also to really get to, Establish their identity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I know you have a mind to share from Luke eight twenty two, where Christ, mm -hmm. where Christ was uh, in the boat with his disciples, and the storm, the storm didn't even respect the Creator Himself, our Lord Jesus Christ, in that boat, and came and was trying to attack them, and Christ was asleep. Yeah. So we all need to know that whatever it is that is going on, be it storms of diseases, financial problems, marital issues, children, whatever it is, Christ is still there. Yes, yes. And I've learned in this walk with Christ that God literally gives you peace. It's not a message that I just preach. Mm -hmm. It's a walk that mm -hmm. I've learned. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn it in this walk that no matter what I go through in life, I teach the people at our church, no matter what you go through, any failure in life is a prayer failure. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. I remember we were in Fort Irwin, California, and California has a lot of uh, earthquakes. Mm -hmm. And we had just came from a revival, and the rumbling began, and the earthquake began to happen. And I looked at my husband, and he said, it's an earthquake. But we went to sleep Hallelujah. in the storm. Mm. When we woke up, we went outside to see the aftermath. But I know that God will give you peace Amen. in the midst of the storm. Amen. I went through so many storms in our lives, so many storms in our ministry. I believe that God is a healer. Amen. I go around telling people, death has no sting. Yes. Cancer, 
cancer is this small mm. in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. No infirmity is larger than God. I'm mm -hmm. here to tell you whatever storm that you're going through in your life, I speak peace mm -hmm. over that storm. Mm -hmm. But this is the secret and how to get through any storm. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Amen. That is the word of God. Whatever storm is in your life, God is asking you to turn from your wicked ways. Amen. Many of you might be at home. Many of you might be in your bed afflicted. But today the prayer warriors stand and guard. They're standing here saying, I'll pray for you. Yes. You need someone to pray in his presence, worship ministries. We are here to pray. I believe in standing in a gap. I believe in breaking strongholds. Hallelujah. I believe that Satan is so small, mm -hmm. but God is so large. And whatever you need in your life, I'm here to tell you, God will do it. I've seen miracles, but in our small church, I've seen the power of God resurrect Amen. dead situations. Amen. I want to say with my daughter, Michelle, she came in a powerful woman of God. But at that point in her life, the storm had hit her mm -hmm. and I seen her shaking. But as I began to wrap her up in a press shawl and we began to speak life, mm -hmm. we began rebuke doubt. We began to call her faith into subjection, and then we seen God. But it just didn't start with Michelle. God is a healer. God is a deliverer, and God can speak to the wind that's in your life. Amen. Whatever you need from God, he is the answer. Amen. Pastor Thaddeus, what do I tell the lost? What do we tell the unsaved? People that's going through this battle. And the only reason I'm mentioning cancer, not to magnify this demon, but to tell this spirit it has no power. Amen. You have a friend that's battling this, uh, this spirit called cancer. We believe God for healing. What do you tell the people? Well, for those that are saved, we know that God is in control. Mm -hmm. And we know that God, he can, he's the chief physician. He can eliminate the cancer. He can perform any type of miracle there is, but it has to take faith. If the person is without faith, he can't please God. And then if he doesn't have the faith, then the miracle won't exist. So the first thing they need to know that a miracle can exist if they have the faith in God. If they don't have the faith in God, then they tend to just rely on what man says, the report of man. Man will say, well, I'm sorry, you only have this much time. And that's what they'll go by. But if they have faith in God, knowing that God can bring them out, then what will take place is God will do the miraculous yeah. and step in and yeah. cure him. And yeah. it'll battle even the mind of the physicians Amen. to say, hey, what happened? Yeah. This is what we've seen, and this is what took place in this person's life. And, of course, they're going to try to explain it medically, but it was spiritually. God stepped in and Hallelujah. did it again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Minister Michelle, what keeps you? You've been through so many storms and hell in your life. I watch your life. I watch your walk. You come in and you continue to teach the gospel. You continue to nurture your children in youth uh, ministry. You continue to worship God and worship and dance. You had stitches in your head. What keeps you? with God mm. in the midst of your storm? Just knowing who God is in my life. Yes. We have to have a relationship with mm. God in order to know who he is and what he can do for us and our situations, the things that we come up with or, or come up against. Um, the word says, count it not strange, mm. you know, the things that we come up against. And so when we're walking with Christ and you have a relationship with him, I, th there's, there's nothing in me that says, uh, you know, I cannot serve him today mm -hmm. because of the relationship that I have with him, because yes. of the time that I spend with him and because of the love that he's given me. Yes. So because of the love that Christ has for me and has for his children mm -hmm. is what keeps me 
in the fold, what keeps me in the flock. Mm -hmm. We're in this demonic world, mm -hmm. UJ, where you see the spirits and the imps walking the earth. Mm -hmm. You say spiritual living. Mm -hmm. How do I stay spiritual? To live in this world and be a light to a nation. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what people need to realize, you know, we are even, we, we, we are human beings, but we mm. are spirits. Yes. We are spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, it will help us to realize being spiritual beings, mm -hmm. everything we we'll face out here, everything we encounter here on this earth comes from that spiritual yeah. realm. Yeah. It manifests from within into outside. Yeah. So when we get hold of knowing that things that happen around, like um, the earthquakes, whatever diseases, whatever it is that torments people, it comes from that spiritual realm. You know, when we get hold of that, who else can take care of whatever it is coming from the spiritual realm into the um, natural into the earthly realm other than the Lord. Yeah. So when you have a solution, why would you leave the solution and start going to man-made, your fellow man and the ways of the world? No, you cannot. You have to look unto the Lord who is the yeah. author and finisher. Yeah. He is the beginning and the end. So, uh, and it's, it, it's very, it will be very, uh, it's necessary for believers to you know, solving their problems. Yeah. Like you mentioned, uh, Pastor, your husband's uh, friend that is in the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yes, the doctors are doing everything medically possible to help him. But you already recognize that this is from, this is an attack from the devil. Yeah. You know, and the sooner we start taking care of the problems from that perspective, yeah. you know, we'll be seeing victories upon victories. Yeah. So, and... Uh, looking around us, everywhere you go, there is chaos right now. So, but people want to solve those problems with man-made intellectual mm -hmm. abilities. But it's, that's not gonna help. It's not gonna help us. Yeah. So we need to start. You started with um, reading from you know First Corinthians. If the people who are called by my name. Yeah will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Yeah. I will heal their land. Yeah. That's what the Lord says. So whatever storm it is, we know that we can always pray. Yes. We can always seek the Lord and he will heal our land of finances, our health. Whatever yes. land it is, he will heal. Yeah. He will step in and do what he knows how to do best. Yes, amen. So. <laughs> I, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think one of the things is so important people understand unforgiveness mm -hmm. is one of the biggest roots that hinders you. Paul said, what hindered you? What bewitched you? What stopped you from getting unforgiveness? If there's anyone in your home, anyone in your family that you have an ought against, the Bible says, go to them. The storms in your life, you talked about sometimes the storms just don't come from God. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people think, well, God is allowing this. Yeah, he has to allow it, but it didn't come from him. Mm -hmm. Listen, when Job went through his storm, mm -hmm. he they had to get permission, Hallelujah. Satan, from Jesus. Mm -hmm. But listen, God said, you can touch him but you can't kill them. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today, I don't care what storm you're going through in your life, it is not until death. Amen. God is resurrecting you today. Amen. If you know that you're going through, you need prayer right now, call 532 8518. The intercessors are online, wait, ready to pray with you. But I'm gonna tell you, I've learned this, any prayer failure, is a failure. Any failure in life is a prayer failure. You have to remember that God is calling us to a place of prayer, Amen. a place of intercession. Mm -hmm. He's crying out for the lost. Mm -hmm. And listen, he's equipping people. How do I go out mm -hmm. and get the lost? Mm -hmm. Why is it so many people in the city of El Paso mm -hmm. that are lost? One pastor asked me, UJ, when I was in a meeting with you, he said, well, what do we say to the gangbangers? Mm -hmm. What do we say to them? Mm -hmm. I said, go and tell them that Jesus loves you no matter what you do, no matter what storm, nothing you can do that would ever stop the Holy Spirit from loving you. If we would go out into the world, the Bible says go to the highways and byways and compel them to come. 
But listen, even the church, we have become frostbitten to these pews. We want our ministry to grow, but we see our sons and daughters dying in the street. God is calling us to break the walls Amen. of our ministry Amen. and go out and get the lost. Amen. Let them know that this storm that you're going through, mm -hmm. speak to it mm -hmm. and it would move. Oh, speak yeah. to that mountain, whatever situation mm -hmm. in your life. The Bible says, oh, death, where's your sting? Mm -hmm. Oh, grave, where's your victory? Mm -hmm. Our victory comes from Christ. Oh, Our yeah. victory comes from the Holy Spirit. Oh, and yeah. if we walk in the power and authority that God gave us, oh, my God, mm -hmm. can you imagine the lives that can be changed in this hour? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the people? Mm -hmm. I believe God, and I say all the time, I believe God, we went to so many funerals mm -hmm. that we had no business going and sitting all day. We could have spoke to that situation mm -hmm. just as Jesus spoke to Lazarus. Lazarus. What storm mm -hmm. is too big for God? Mm -hmm. There's no storm. Do you know of any storm mm -hmm. that God can cease? No. And then I say all the time to our church, God said, listen, I've given you power. Mm -hmm. Some things we go running to God. He said, listen, mm -hmm. you go do it. Call it out. What can we do to cease this, even the storms of this world? Mm -hmm. I believe that I can go out and speak to that tornado, mm -hmm. tornado spirit mm -hmm. and it will stop. Mm -hmm. I believe that I can speak to the winds and the waves. Mm -hmm. Jesus did. Mm -hmm. We have all power. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, let me say this. Uh, it has to be a form of maturity that has to take place in that Christian. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say this is, like you said, most storms come when you're unaware because mm -hmm. you're not prepared. Mm -hmm. But now, as you get a maturity in Christ, yeah. look what Jesus did when he was first woke. Mm -hmm. He was disgusted with his disciples mm -hmm. because he had put in them yeah. and he expected their maturity level to be at a certain place. Mm -hmm. yes. So he was like, wow, he a little faith, you know. So what he did, he basically did, he ceased the storm but he was looking at his disciples like, but I've given you this type yes. of power. Yes. If you're not mature enough, yes. those storms will come in and they will wreak havoc. Mm -hmm. Only the mature Christians that know that they have the power to tame that storm, mm -hmm. to cease it and call it out, mm -hmm. yes. they can go in and do that. Yes. But you have so many people now that go to church, they check the block, mm -hmm. And on the spiritual warfare side of the house, mm -hmm. they have no clue. <laughs> they don't know the power that they possess, and they really didn't know about the warfare that took place prior to them coming to the church. Mm -hmm. and, and believe it or not, Satan wants to take us out. Yes. He will kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, he do not want a real Christian to get to the maturity level of knowing who he is exactly. in Christ. Yeah. Because now... He's on his list. Exactly. Amen. And exactly. if he's on his list, now expect that warfare to be even greater. Mm -hmm. But you got you got the the tools of your warfare is right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Being with Christ. Amen. And I love the part in the Bible when Jesus knew that he was going to be crucified. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the Bible talks about he went to the Garden of Gethsemane, mm -hmm. and he went and he cried out mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. I believe at that time, that was the boy, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then the Holy Spirit rose up in Jesus. The Holy Spirit, and he said, nevertheless, not my will, Amen. but Amen. God, your will be done. Because yeah. Jesus knew I might go through this storm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and my will, I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God, if you don't want to take this cup from me, then I'm going to ride this way. Mm -hmm. But he knew. That God had all power. Mm -hmm. Our Bible tells us that on the third day he rose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What keeps us? What is it? It's nothing but the blood of mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What sustains us? What mm -hmm. gets us through our trials and tribulations mm -hmm. today? UJ, I just want to ask you. In everything we said about the storm, and I love for you to tell the, let, that you told the people mm -hmm. that all of this doesn't come from God. Mm -hmm. That's true. God will try us. Mm -hmm. God will give us tests. Mm -hmm. But I'm unsaved now. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to get. Mm -hmm. The saved know to pray. Mm -hmm. The saved know to consecrate. Mm -hmm. But UJ, what do you tell the unsaved that's going through a storm right now? It's as easy as ABC. Just call, 
first of all, you have to give your life to Christ. Yes. That's the beginning. You give your life to Christ, invite him into your life to become Lord over your life. Yes. To become master in your life. Yes. Because he is the master of all creation. Yes. John 1, 3 says, in him, all things yes. were made through yes. him. There was nothing that was formed that was not formed by him. Yes. So it's all gets back to just tracing your root. Yes. Your, your, Christ is our root. He, he lights all men that comes into the world. Yes. Isn't it? So whether you are saved or unsaved, your root is Jesus Christ. Don't bother about all the people that claim they don't know there's no God and everything. In him, all things, we are made. Yes. yes. Isn't it? Amen. So trace back, go back to your root. Yes. And trace him and accept him and welcome him back. Oh, my creator, here I am. Yes. You know, come do your thing in me. Recreate me, transform me, do everything. Yeah. You know, we all we have we are all broken vessels that, that the Lord picked up and repaired us, and now He's using us. We Amen. have not always been perfect, isn't yeah. it? We were once the unsaved. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I just Amen. thank God for this conversation. Amen. I invite you all Amen. to come to in His presence. I believe the Holy Spirit is calling so many sons and daughters to a place of worship, to a place of relationship Amen. and not religion. Mm -hmm. we're, we're located at 8935 Gateway South Boulevard. And I invite you to come. I am Pastor Lori, co-pastor, and my husband, Pastor Thaddeus, yes. our minister of worship and dance, uh, Minister Michelle. And I just invite you to come and worship with us. Mm -hmm. We have intercessory prayer that is so important in our ministry on Monday nights at 6.30. I invite you to come. We tear down the walls of Satan yeah. and we give him no power. God has all glory mm -hmm. in our ministry. Mm -hmm. I just thank United with Christ for this opportunity. It is such a blessing that they've given us time to share with you mm -hmm. about the power of God. Again, if you need prayer today, Please don't hesitate and call 532-8518. The intercessors are online waiting to hear from you. Any prayer failure in your life, it's because you refuse to get on your knees and talk to Jesus. Amen. Get to know him. Have a relationship with Christ. He'll save your life. I thank and praise God for grace, for giving us the opportunity, the grace and the staff of this, um, this ministry, for giving us the opportunity to come and share with you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. With Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSEE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.kse.com. God bless you.